How's it going guys? Pens for Friends here, and today I was playing a little bit of Landfall, and I found this one really cool sentry spot. It took me a while to set up, but it's actually really unique in, in the in the way that none of your teammates can actually get get up here. And it's and the sentry is at a really interesting spot where it's actually invulnerable to spies if played right. So uh yeah, it, it was actually really interesting. I think we did lose the game though, but Anyways, yeah, a little bit more about this sentry spot. It's inaccessible by your teammates, because it's, uh, they, like, they can't hop off and get to the teleporter, which takes them up to this ledge that I'm on here. Thanks, and, uh, it, this spot covers the room beside the intelligence, which is actually really interesting, because it's more of a flank-guarding sentry spot. But, that said, that does mean that building up here is mostly for, uh, scenarios where the intelligence is already protected by another sentry. So yeah, it's also really interesting in the way that it's completely spy-proof because spies will be unable to sap their sentry, uh, as shown with this spy here. He can't get up here, there's nothing he can do, and I have a wrangler, and I just make sure that's not a spy, and there's that spy there, and I just completely take him out. So yeah, uh, here's the tutorial for how to build it. So in order to build on this particular sentry spot, we are going to need two weapons for melee. I'm using the Jag right now. This isn't important. You can change which wrench you're using. It doesn't really matter. But for this, I highly recommend using the Rescue Ranger, as shown here. Uh, it's the, in case you don't know, it's the little shotgun that lets you re uh, repair your buildings from long range and uh, and basically uh, move them to you at the cost of 100 metal. This is basically a time-saving tool in this tutorial, and it will help you to save yourself for building another level 3 sentry. Uh, second weapon we're going to need here is the Wrangler. This one's a must-have, because it'll let you sentry jump later, which I'll explain. So you don't need to build a teleporter at spawn, don't, don't bother with that. So, coming over here, you're going to enter this room, and it has a little ledge up here. That's where we're going to do the core of our building. So first off, you're going to want to place a dispenser in this corner. Just like that, and I just build that guy up. There you go. And then you're going to want to build a sentry gun over here. I'm just going to grab this ammo here. Build a sentry right here. Just in the corner. It doesn't need to be super precise, just somewhere over here. I like to have it tucked into this little corner, which makes it harder to peek at and stuff. So this guy's going to need to be upgraded to level 3 for our for our little sentry jump spot here. Just grab some metal off this dispenser. There we go. Got some more metal. Okay, and I'll just go over here. This dispenser doesn't really need to be upgraded. It's it's actually, ironically, it's more of a uh, transport tool than it is an actual building tool, but I'm just going to upgrade it uh, anyways. Grab some ammo over here. It's actually really important to have over 100 ammo uh, before you do the sentry jump because uh, actually uh, earlier I made the noobish mistake of jumping up there without enough uh, metal to uh, move up my sentry or actually build a teleporter. So that was a bit of a mistake. I'm going to help you guys not do that. So then you're going to want to jump up here. This can be done later. And you can just build a teleporter exit like that. There you go. Doesn't really matter at this point. And so now, this is the crucial part. We're going to take our Wrangler, get control of the sentry, and we're going to left click to shoot rockets just like this. Left click. And that'll shoot rockets. So now what we're going to do is I've made this convenient little explosion mark from practicing. But a good way to position yourself is just getting into this corner and then walking out to about about here. It doesn't need to be super precise. Just in this general area, I'm just going to aim straight down at your feet and then, unlike a traditional rocket jump, you're going to wait a little bit because the sentry gun's over there and you need to wait for the rockets to travel. So, I'm just going to try this out. And you need to crouch jump as well. That's also super important. I'm just going to try this out here. Shoot, jump, and then... Okay, I missed a little bit. That's not a, not a huge deal. I'll just sit on my dispenser here. Heal up. Which, it's not, it's not a big deal. And then just... Hope you here. Try again. Oh. Okay, I keep hitting the rafters up there. I'll try again. If I fail this time, I'll just edit the rest of it out. Not a big deal. Alright. Third time's a charm. Let's go. Maybe just move a little bit. There we go. Alright. Third time's a charm. So now that I'm up here, 
I'm at low health, but I do have some metal. So I'm going to build a teleport exit so I can get up here later. There we go. Just level this guy up. Does, it doesn't need to be a high level teleporter. You can just have it level 1. Because mostly you are going to be using it. And uh, enemy spies are going to be trying, trying to use it. So it's not a huge deal. I recommend keeping it low level because you might actually need to uh, destroy the exit at some point. So now that I'm all healed up from my little sentry jump there. I'm just going to hop back onto this teleporter. Which is actually only accessible to you and enemies because uh, your team can't actually jump on the dispenser which is necessary to get up to here. So that's actually a really great way of checking sp checking for spies because they'll be hopping on the dispenser and then that'll give you enough time to react and destroy your teleporter entrance and then wrangle them. Or just wrangle them, I don't know. It depends how fast you are. So now we're just going to try and do this super sneaky little rescue ranger move here and put this Sentry gun right here. There we go. That's going to build itself up. And here we go. So that is the complete setup. You can level up the teleporters and dispenser as much as you'd like. I personally recommend leveling up the dispenser a little bit after you've built up for your team. So as you can see, like this is actually a really tricky spot. I mean, it might be a little bit easy to edge from down here. Like th Those are some places that you need to look out for. But on the bright side, you actually get really you get a really great view, and you get great vantage points from up here. So if I just go up here again, you can actually see threats coming and notify your team, or may maybe even move your sentry. Like if you want to move it back a little bit, it's not a big deal, and then you can totally save it from being edged and stuff. So like now, e like this, then that forces people to move back even more, and then like like that just gives you plenty of time to react, and most. Most people that go this way will be, f will be focused on the dispenser, and the, you'll all, you'll have already found them. And, the f and then from over here, like it's 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 another tough angle. I mean, if people are edging you from over here, then you can just hop down and deal with them. So yeah, it's a really great spot, and the best part about it is how spy-proof it is. So let's say I'm a spy. Actually, yeah, let's let's say I'm a spy. Got my little knife out, and I I go over here, and because the sentry gun's right there, and uh, you'll be standing up there as an engineer. I'll just demonstrate that right now. So, you're standing up here, and then you see a spy come up and sap your dispenser. All you have to do is just wrangle them and just destroy them. That's all. And also, when, when, when the spies start to get smart about it and try and get, get up here, they're going to want to hop on that dispenser and take the teleporter. But, they... They'll, they'll be doing that disguised as a teammate, and teammates can't actually hop on your dispenser. So if you see a teammate getting up on your dispenser and climbing the boxes, all you gotta do is just destroy your teleporter, and then they can't get up here, and then you can just wrangle them. Really simple, actually. I, 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 like, I, I, I stumbled upon this thing completely by accident. I know engi other engineers have built up here before, but I'm not sure that this strategy has been taken before. Anyways, hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, and that it was helpful for you guys, and... Yeah, see you next time. Pew. Pew.